Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Fact Paints. This is one of the many episodes we've done in our lives. We are well versed in painting swords. We're painting a sword tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We have Matthew Miller and Nick DiCarlo. Nick, yes, Matt. Why are we painting swords? We're painting swords because right now they're unpainted. We have it's very raw, good, unpainted wooden swords that need some love, attention, and TLC. Yeah, so the story about these swords is we went to a uh, renaissance festival, the kids call it. That is where everyone dresses up like it's the middle evil, medieval times, and there are randomly times. pirates also. There are also randomly pirates also? Yes. Also randomly pirates I didn't pirates see a goddamn pirate there the whole time. Yes, you did. Oh, you saw a bunch of wenches. Oh, yeah, and they had, the, they had the guns. Uh huh. They had the guns. So, anyway, me and Nick, we bought some swords. Um, I was going to buy a Legend of Zelda one. It looked real badass, but you know what? I decided. I don't need a Legend of Zelda sword when I can just paint one myself. No, that was my thought process. My thought process was be a cheapskate. Just yes. buy a fucking wooden sword, man. You don't need to find it. You don't need a painted wooden, yeah. wooden sword? No. Anyway, Nick, how'd you uh, choose yours? Um, well, it was on the $13 rack, which I found out later was not the $13 rack. It was the $20 rack. It was the $20 mine was 15 rack. bucks. Yes, mine was $20, and mine is... It looks like... Oh, man. Look at that. Beat to hell. It looks yeah. like $7 now, Nick. Yeah. Jesus. So, all right, how do we how do we paint a sword, Matt? Tell well, us the steps. The steps to painting a sword, of course. I think the first one is figuring out what you're going to paint. Okay, you. And I you know need, I know where you were going with that. You need a vision. Well, I wanted to bounce it off for you first. Yes. Okay. So, what is our vision here tonight? Well, to have the sword painted by the end of the week. I know. I just. Oh. What is your vision for your sword? Okay, I'm gonna you know. Some silver on the blade. Yeah, that's a, that's always because a good idea. it's a Witcher sword. It's a silver sword. Whoa! To fight monsters. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, it's a damn good idea. Uh huh. And then, well, I think just a nice solid wooden handle, and then get kind of fancy on the handguard. That's what I'm thinking. And then, do, do, did you buy red? Did I buy red? Yes. Yeah, we got a red. We got okay. a red, Nick. Good, because I'm going to paint a little bit of blood on the blade. It's like a red-brown, but you can definitely mix some stuff. Well, We're going to mix a lot of stuff. Dried blood looks kind of brownish. It's true. You're saying you use From what I've seen on the sword. Power Rangers. So what's the name of your sword? Gandalf. Gandalf? Gandalf the Grey. Well, now mine doesn't sound near as cool. What is yours? Big house. Big house. Yeah. Look at it. Big house. It's going to look like the Legend of Zelda sword for sure at the end, but its name will be Big House. Is there a Legend of Zelda sword named Big House? No, it's called the... It's the Master Sword. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to cut that out. It's the Master Sword, everyone. Isn't that amazing? No one's going to see that, Nick. See, it's fine. Okay. No, we're going to leave it. Okay, all right, good. sounds good. Okay, so no, step one, definitely sanding down the wood. Now... I didn't think about this. We bought all this here. Grab the sandpaper, Nick. And you can walk up to the camera, whatever you need to do there. All right. We have um, some general purpose 100 grit sandpaper from our friends over at 3M who sent us this sandpaper. I feel like 3M is owned by Nestle, but I think everyone's owned by Nestle. You can't yes. think that. Yes. Every, they go through life thinking everyone is owned by Nestle. Some people are owned by Aquafina, which is owned by Nestle. It's not true. It's not true. It's 100% true. So anyway, as I was saying, Nick, I feel like these are already sanded. You know, granted we'll go over it again, but the point of sanding out, like, furniture or something is really to, like, sand it. These are nice and sanded down, you know, in all the corners. I think it's going to pull. Well, it's also, we sand. it's also not, well, it's to remove like rough aberrations, but it's also to just rough up the surface again. This is sanded very smooth. Ooh, it's very true. So it roughs up the surface so the paints and the primer stick to it. And which is why we need to sand it. Glad you're here, Nick. Yes. So uh, according to Google uh, search, when you're just, it just it's like do things yourselves.com, but somehow it still pops up the whole, all the stuff up in the Google search. Yes. Anyway, they, so they said we need like 400, um, Sandiness? Grit? Yeah, grit. We're using 100 here. Yeah. So that means we have to do it four times. That's right? not accurate. That is it's the only way I can do math, Nick. Alright, so here we are sanding, and you should probably pump up these background music ladders so they don't have to hear this for the next thing. We can do that. Or I'll definitely remember but to do that. Anyway, I don't think you quite understand how grit works in sandpaper. 
we don't want a fine grit. We want like a little bit rougher grit. Which is what we have. So good job, Matt. Well, I'm gonna have to use the other audio. We lost it. Uh oh. So we need to restart. We'll just do a quick, we'll see what works better. We'll see how bad it is. So right now I say, all right guys, we're already on to step one. We are sanding the swords. Do you want me to cut that? What? Do you want me to cut no, that? No, that's fine, I'll figure it out. Because I probably should check on the battery sometimes too. No, no, you no. can check on the battery if you need to, Nick. But what I'm saying is if you cut that, then I have to re sand you up in the, uh, in the point. So I'm gonna save hold just a little bit lower than the mics. You know, save people's eardrums. And I like when sanding. I like to do a little circles because it makes me feel important. I don't. I don't know if it's actually doing anything. It makes you feel important. Yes. <laughs> the circles make you feel. It's like a wax on, wax off type of thing. I mean, I'm just making sure I'm getting all the edges. You know, I'm using this equal amount of pressure. And I'm not going against the blade. Is, is that real? You're trying to just stand really, really hard and then feel it. Your face. Oh. That was that sandpaper. Or that it wasn't a good idea, Nick. I'll tell you what. It was not a good idea. That could be said for most of the things in Matt Miller's life. Not a good idea or sandpaper. Not a good idea. See that? I don't know which one we need to do here. We, need, we do need a brush, though. Can you grab a brush, Nick? I can. Thank you. Um, so while Nick's grabbing that brush, I'll explain... This brush? Which brush? Yeah, I'll grab a, a, I don't know, a good sized brush, Nick. A good sized brush. Nick's gonna need to grab a brush and the spray paint. So what Nick's grabbing is a... Can I still, can I still beard my, my sword? It's a good stain. Old Rasputin stain. Where's the spray paint? Um, so he's grabbing a, a nice brown here. And that's going to be the first primer we're doing over the sword. It also is the last primer. There is one primer that we are doing, and it's the one that Nick's grabbing. Okay, it's hard to concentrate on both at the same time. Nick, I'm failing out here, okay? I'm trying to get this open and wasn't open, and where's the spray paint? Well, I'm not quite sure what the spray paint is. Can I just do cut? <laughs> As you can see, we're still fucking doing this shit. It's been taking a long time, Nick. Oh. Boy, we have been sanding for hours here. Sanding and dusting, you gotta make sure you dust it off afterwards. You wanna get all that, all the particles off. You don't wanna paint the particles, Nick. That's what they always told me in school. You never wanna paint the particles. No, no, no. You wanna do nice circles. So let's break it down again, one last time. Nice yeah. circles. Nice circle. Evenly distributed pressure. Yeah. And then what? Make sure you get complete coverage. Like down in here, you, yours is a little... You wanna what? Get... You want me to get down there? Yeah. Nick, how many mean to paint now? I picked a stupid sword. Yes, you did. I mean, did you tell the stupid sword by the, when you first saw it? You're like, man, that sword's dumb. How the hell are you gonna paint in there? No, I just thought it was dumb. It's kind of a chode of a sword, to be honest. Where mine is like a number two pencil. Long yeah, and mine's skinny. So it's pretty nice length, actually. No? No, Nick, don't go <laughs> do that. Okay. All right, well, you know what? I'm done with this part. I'm gonna lay it down. We're gonna prime yours first. Well, I'm not finished with mine yet. Ooh, that looks nice. It's fine, let's just put the audience to see. Because we can do picture in picture now. Ooh. I unlocked the ability to search uh, how to use LiveWorks on Google, ladies and gentlemen. LiveWorks is a great program, and it's completely free, and, and you can just mix video and audio together. It's amazing what you tell can your do. House come like, search for on Google nowadays. Yeah. Like, for the first, like, probably what, 13, 14 years of my life, I thought you, the only thing you could Google is boobs. I didn't know you could actually Google other things. Yes. 
the first, the only thing you could do was boost. Yes, that's that correct. Right. Not for that long, but that was the very first movable thing. Um, so we well, first off, we gotta figure out how to lay that down. Lay it down. Yeah, that's the next step. The next step, ladies and gentlemen, is priming it. We have brown primer. <sighs> Make talk. Oh, you don't, I don't, don't, it'll be out of focus if you get that close. No. So just... Okay, explain the priming process, Nick. The priming process is a very integral part of the sword painting process, in which it's a primer coat that primes the sword before the painting. Yes, it also coats it. And coats. It and primes protects. and coats and protects. Now here, I got a question for you. Yeah. We didn't think about this. What makes it all shiny at the end? You gotta get a... Little shine gun and go. <laughs> I don't think that's how shine guns work, man. Oh, <laughs> clearly I have no understanding here with shine guns. Yeah, clearly, uh, I think it, it, I think before. it's just a glossy paint. We gotta get some glossy paint and realize it. Okay, well we can do that. Okay, because they do need to shine a little bit. Yeah, a luster. If yes. You we're using acrylic paint. I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea, but that's what we're using. I don't know. I don't know what the spray can is. It might not be acrylic. You couldn't just find sword paint over at Home Depot? They did not have sword paint oh, at Michael's. They okay. should have had it at Michael's. Oh, at Michael's. there was lots of stupid stuff you could buy at Michael's. <laughs> you could buy like little emblems for your freaking like wooden carvings and stuff. But they're like $15 a piece. I need that. I know you do. I know you wanted a big... I need that in my life now. A big wooden goose. All right, anyway, so we apply the, the primer and we let the primer dry. All right, Nick, we're gonna do mine first. All right. Let's have a little bit of camera time. Yeah, let me see yours, let me see yours. We're gonna, we gotta give them something to look at. Oh yeah. Ooh, this, this sword does feel nice though. It does. It's nice, nice and girthy. All right, so. It is very girthy. As, all, as always, Nick, we're doing this without gloves. We always do this without gloves. That's the way we operate. Yes. So one side and then the other side, you think? We did not Google this. All Google said was prime and then paint. I think it's just very up, up to interpretation. So we do uh, one side then the other, sounds good. Good. Make sure you get in the good. cracks. Yes. And uh, try not to get primer in your beer. Oh, that is that is not handy. No, it's not. Nick, I'm gonna need you to uh, point to do some handheld. Yeah, exactly. Video work. Yep. How many minutes we got on there? Um, five oh four. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Now I really don't think we're gonna want to. Oh, I'm really digging the uh, the music here. No, the words on the ground. Oh yes. These are happy. These are um, things from previous facts and other stupid. So I'm gonna say right now, Nick. Things we've done. That right as now. soon as it starts spraying it this way, it's not gonna want to spray anymore. Right? I think they they designed their cans to be able spray to be invertible. Yeah. Okay. This is 2016, man. This is a pri This actually is a primer. This is not ultra your, cover. This is not your grandfather spray paint. Now, what are you thinking about at this exact same exact moment? Man. This is gonna look damn good, is what I'm thinking. Okay, good. Is that what you're thinking? I am. Because this looks hella brown right now. I'm loving this brown. All right, Nick. You wanna get yours over here? You gotta do one side and then flip at some point? Yes. But you gotta wait for that to at least pack up a little bit. Yeah, I That agree. is to dry. So, so let's kind of pack it to the top. Okay. Okay. Let's get yours. Alright. Here, why don't you... I will, I will record you, Nick, because this is the best way to film anything on the planet. Our viewers are going to love Ladies it. and gentlemen. Alright. So. I'd like to match the color of my sword and my beer. See, the problem is I'm holding this, Nick, and it's not the best way to... We'll get out of the way of that. Then what is your problem? Nothing, just go, just go, Nick. Alright, so. Trying to get a nice even coat. Turned it off there for a second. I am. What? You're good, you're good. I just messed up. Oh, continue coming. I'm not a very even kind of person, so that's a little difficult for me. An even Steven, if you will. Don't spray mine. No. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not happy with that. 
All right, so I'll do a little bit of talking right next to doing this. You can tell he's going for, you know, the even Stevens, as he was calling it. Yes. You want to make sure you get that primer. How many coats? Just one coat, Nick? Or you, like, you hand that shit up like a nice glazed ham? Is that what it is to you? It's a rum ham. It's a nice rum ham we got going on here. Man, it smells like rum ham. All right. Well, I, I like think it. That's, that's nice and even. Just double checking your work. Tip, just the tip. Oh, Matt, we missed some stuff. We might. I think the thing is just drying down there. These look good, just brown. Why didn't they just prime them brown? They, I would have bought them for another $3. They're poop, they're poop swords. They are. All, All right. right, so we're gonna weigh a little bit, flip yeah. them over. Yeah, we should do that. So we're gonna cut. We'll be back in a moment. Commercial break brought to you by Old Rasputin. That's nice. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with fact paints. We have waited for the primer to dry, Nick. We have waited for 40 long minutes. And what do we do in that time? We well, played video games, of course. We melted our brains. We destroyed them slowly, but that doesn't matter. All that matters are these babies right here. These bad boys. Nick, you know the honors? Yes. What are the honors that I'm doing? You flip them over and get oh. you in your hands. Bum, bum, bum. I'll be yours first. I'm still not good at knowing when to like, you know, record and not record. Oh, there we go. I like my medium rare, sir. <laughs> well, you're getting well done. All right, All right. you want to spray paint yours? Yeah, sure. You just spray paint them both, man. Spray paint them both? Yeah. I don't need to take much skill to spray paint, so I'll let you do it. I'm gonna get high. Don't, get, don't do that. Don't do it like it's always something. All right. Nick, who are some of your favorite swordsmen? Some of my favorite. That is a good question. I feel like we need to. All right. One of my favorite swordsmen ever is in the movie The Princess Bride, which you have never seen. Can't His name. What is the movie about? The Bride of the Princess. Yes. His name is Inigo Montoya, and. A man Can killed his father, and he is trained with a sword all his life in order to exact revenge on the six-fingered man who killed his father. And he has one famous quote. It was says, it, I'm in the dumbest movie? No. It says, my name is Inigo Montoya. Yeah. You killed my father. Prepare to die. I feel like it's a Disney movie, is it not? It is not, but it's amazing. I'm going to make you watch it. I don't want Please don't do that to me. It's, it's real good. You'll like it. Okay. Well, Nick, I'm glad you asked him my favorite swordsman. Yep. Glad you took the question back to me. So, Matt, what's yours? Please, enlighten me while I spray paint. I mean, so Zoro was pretty cool. You know, I never really got him as a kid, but I think I got him more as an adult. He was a Mexican, though. And <laughs> Donald Trump wouldn't like him. You're right, Nick. Since we love Donald Trump so much, I'll think of another one. <laughs> um... See, I mean, I gotta go with my main man, Link, dude. Link, whatever his last name is. He, uh, he had a tiny sword, and then it grew Link up. Like a source? Yeah, he, he grew up, and so did his sword. It grew when he was a little boy, and... You know, it got a little bit shinier, a little bit longer, a little bit stronger. You know, what What any man would like to have in a sword. And then he killed Ganondorf. Ganondorf was a good man. He was. He's dead now. He was completely... He was just misunderstood. I mean, it, it, he was just a man seeking understanding in a world. And Link just came and just killed him. You think anyone's still watching me? God, I hope so. I fucking hope so, dude. You got that spot. I was looking at that spot for a little while. Yeah. Not gonna lie, right now these look pretty sweet. They're pretty sweet, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I'm cooking right now. All right. So we got the swords, they're primed. Where, where, are we gonna paint them outside or are we paint it? We should probably paint them inside. Yeah. Well for, for detail work we need yeah, we need, we need a good light. table to sit at. So we're we'll be uh finishing this episode on our world beloved fact table. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank you for watching to episode episode one of Fact Paints. Tune in for episode two. I think it's still gonna be a part of episode one because it's still Episode one B. Sure, Nick. Now we'll break them down to sub-episodes. <laughs> that doesn't sound complicated. 